Okay, so continuing on with the same project. Now, there is a ton of functionality in our proposal section. So let's go ahead and start with this proposal that we've created for, for the top. And again, we hid those, we quote unquote, hid those fixtures in the front. So they're not showing up in this, this proposal for, for the satellite view. So um, I saved my design. Now I'm clicking on proposal. And here is everything that I have. Here is the MSRP uh, price breakdown. Again, in, in the free version, uh, we dictate the products that you see in the MSR price uh, that you see. In the pro version, you will have full control over those products and whatever quote unquote MSRP price that you want to sell them at. Um, so I happen to be a, a parts and labor guy. So I've got the ability here to add eh, this, this, I think eh, it's probably going to take 20 hours and my average rate is 95 bucks an hour. So I just added that into um, the proposal. And this just happens to be a friend of mine. So I'm going to go ahead and give them 3% off, which, you know, never forget that no good deed goes unpunished. But um, this discount, you can either do a flat discount or a percentage discount. Okay. Now, I've got two kind of cool options here, the upgrade and the downgrade. And you, you may never utilize this, but um, let's just say that, that you're a good, better, best type of person. Okay, so I could utilize, let's just say that I could give them my, my better option first, because that's typically where we want most people to go. We want 80% people to go in that middle price range, um, because we know that's where they typically gravitate, and we know that's where we should make our most margin. So you've got your better, you've got your better in the middle, your best on the high end, and, and you're good at the bottom. Well, what this allows me to do is actually add an upgrade charge. So I could say I'm going to add an upgrade charge of 30%. And what I'm going to do is add all RGBW lamps. So I can save it that way. Or the downgrade works really just like the discount because I could downgrade somebody and say, eh, um, we're going to utilize, I, I don't recommend this, but <laughs> we're going to discount of 10% and we're going to say, uh, we're going to utilize uh, plastic fixtures. Please don't sell anybody plastic fixtures, but you get the point here. Um, so you can utilize those upgrade and downgrade fields for your good, better, best options as a way to do that very, very quickly without having to recreate the project with different fixtures, okay? So these are cool tools. Again, as I mentioned, uh, you can change your hours, you can change your labor rate, you can change your tax rate, whether or not you charge tax. You saw in my settings that uh, as my default, I had zero for labor and zero for tax. So um, I would probably change that. So what I'm gonna do now, I've also got the option here to hide item pricing in the proposal so that it just shows the subtotal information. I also have the ability to hide the layout in my proposal. Maybe I don't want to give them the layout. Maybe that's mine. And I just want to give them the proposal. So I'm going to, for now, I'm going to hide the item pricing, but I'm going to leave the layout in there and show you what that looks like. I'm generating my documents. And here's my docs right here. I'm just gonna open up the proposal. It does other things. We'll go into that in a minute. I, I can email it, I can view it, or I can download it. So this is what my proposal looks like. 
Remember, I hid the itemized pricing. So all I see is my total, right? I said that was for my plastic fixtures, downgrade to plastic fixtures. There is my layout. Here's my terms of conditions, and here is uh, where I can have the client sign. So I'm going to stop this video. In the next video, we're going to talk about how we can combine proposals from multiple images.